Hello guys, welcome back. In the last episode, we already have the basic concepts of Rx Android. So in this episode, we are going to create a simple example of Rx Android. So start a new Android Studio project. Specify application name. And here I select MD activity. So here the project is created. So in this Android Studio project, we are going to working with Rx Android. So we have to add the needed dependency for using Rx Android. So open your browser. Go to the Rx Android GitHub page. So here is the dependency. So this is the dependency for using Rx Android. And this is the dependency for using Rx Java. So it is recommended to use Rx Java dependency with Rx Android dependency for avoid some bugs and to improve performance. So we have to add these two dependency to our Android Studio project. So open Gradle file. So this is the dependency for using Rx Android. Now we need to add the dependency for using Rx Java. So here we add all the needed dependency for using Rx Android. Now sync project. Now the project sync finishes. Now go to activity main.xml. So here the root element is a constraint layout. I change that one into a relative layout. Now here I am going to add a text view. Now change the ID of the text view. Now change the text size. Now change the text style into bold. Now here I am going to place a button. change the button text now specify an on click method for the button here I specify the on click method as subscribe now so this is our UI the UI contain a text view and a button so the button have an on click method called the subscribe now I copy that method name now go to main activity we have to define that method here. And for this method, we need one parameter, say view plus object. Now here, we need to declare some variables. First one, we need some variables for text to view. Now we need some variables for observable and observers. First here I am going to create some observable variable. Select observable from reactivex. So here the observable emit some string value. I name it as m observable. Now we need some variables for observers. Select observer from reactivex. Here the observer accepts some string value. I name it as m observer. Now we can initialize these variables. First we can initialize the text view variable. Type cast that one into text view. Now find it. Now initialize the observable variable. And here I am going to use the static method just. And from that method we can emit some string value. So 
so this is our observable here I use an operator called just that emit a single string value called hello from rx and row it so now the observable is ready an observable emit data if there is at least one observer subscribed to it so now we can create the observer So here the observer interface have methods like on subscribe, on next, on error and on complete. So now the observable and observer is ready. Now we need to subscribe to the observable. So we can perform the subscription from the subscribe now method. For that you have to call the subscribe method on the observable object. So here the observable object is m observable and you have to call the method called the subscribe and in that method you have to pass the instance of the observer here it is m observer so soon after the observer subscribe to the observable the observable emits data and it will call the on next method on the observer so we get the data in this method called on next so this method has one parameter is a string value so now we can set the string on the text view so this is a simple example of rx android now we can test our application now run the application Okay, now the application available on this virtual device so in this in in our application an observable is ready to emit a string value also we have an observer now we need to subscribe to the observable so we can perform the subscription by using this button click so here i click the button so soon after an observer subscribe to the observable the observable emits data and we receive the data in the on next method of the observer and we display the data using this text view so this is a simple example of rx android i hope you understand the concepts please subscribe this channel for getting more android tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next episode